Good morning guys. Thanks for joining me for another What I Eat In A Day as a vegan on Slimming World. Today is Saturday. If you're new here, my name is Leanne. I'm a vegan trying to lose weight using the Slimming World plan. And if you're joining me from a regular viewing schedule, then welcome back and happy to have you here. So uh, I have been faffing around all morning and as a consequence, the only thing I have been eating or drinking has been water. I haven't even had a coffee. Mum was gonna come down for a coffee. Hi, Mum. Hiya. <laughs> and uh, yes, then we decided instead, it's a beautiful morning, so, well, late morning now, so we're gonna go for a walk by the canal. So I'll show you where we go, and then we may stop off for a coffee somewhere afterwards, so I'll show you that too. We are just waiting for the bridge to open back up over there. It's a nice windy day today. This is where we cross the bridge. And that's the bridge house. This is Saw Junction, as the signs say. This is the stables cafe. So we're just going to see if there's a table outside. So this is now the stables cafe. And we're up on the terrace, which is also a place. And you can just look and have a look down the, hi mum, <laughs> down the canal. Um, and I've just got a uh, flat white with oat or soy, soy milk. So I'll try and work out the same as that later, it's probably two. So that's where we just were, up on the top corner there. And now we're heading back to the road. It's a circular route. It's just so nice here. <laughs> But basically after we'd had our lovely walk and our coffee and then the rest of our walk, cause that's halfway point, um, we stopped in Sainsbury's on the way back cause mum needed a few bits, so, which was perfect for me because I think I mentioned yesterday, I didn't have a little fresh veg in. So I've got some stuff to show you that I've bought because I know you guys like to see a little grocery haul. There was quite a few new vegan products in Sainsbury's. Um, recently they've been running down their vegetarian shelf and uh, I was a bit worried in case they were gonna discontinue products actually they've reconfigured it and added a load of stuff so it was quite good today and also encouragingly there was a label for this isn't bacon which as you guys know i quite like and um but it was empty so it's obviously already sold out <laughs> uh, it's been quite a while since i've been in that sainsbury's um even though it is the closest supermarket to my house but i tend to go to tesco because the veg is normally a bit better so very quickly i need to eat something like majorly soon because <laughs> i am like just feeling a bit shaky especially on top of a coffee so I'm just gonna quickly throw together a pasta salad and uh, cause I've got some that pasta left over from the other day that I still haven't eaten. So that'll just about be okay, I hope. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna, I've got some like tomatoes and cucumber and stuff. So I'll just make a little salad-y thing. And, uh, and then I'll show you what I've bought. Pretty good grocery haul for you guys today. Uh, so mushrooms, asparagus, aubergine, spinach, red onions, some salad potatoes, Courgettes, little tomatoes. Wish I'd got two because I really like these and I go through them quick. Radishes. I've got some uh, coriander, uh, dill, parsley and coriander. Uh, two lots of green beans, spring onions, leeks, tender stem broccoli, my favorite. Uh, two lots of peppers because I do use a lot of peppers. I think that's all the veg. It's a decent amount of veg. So I'll keep it going for a little bit. I got a loaf of bread. 400 gram small wholemeal. And then some vegan products. Uh, I got um, Daya because I am uh, I think I'm on my last one. So I just got that. Now I will just caveat this by some of this is new and I don't know how many sins it is. And I think it will be high, particularly this one and this one. 
but I really wanted to try them and I thought I can just send them and work them in. So, um, vegan cocktail sausages. Really only got them because they were 99p, um, but they're ready to eat, which I thought was intriguing. So I'm quite interested to try those and see how many sins they are. The plant burgers, this is probably the nicest veggie burger I've ever had and I haven't had them for absolutely ages. I think they're one and a half sins each last time I checked. So I will double check that and let you know. Um, this is probably the thing I'm most excited about. Mediterranean mac and cheese bites with a sun-dried tomato and herb bechamel. And Leon is a brand I really, really like actually. They do lovely food, lovely sauces. Um, so this is what they look like. These are bound to be super high in sins. So we'll incorporate that somehow. <laughs> uh, I got these roast flavor pieces, which I'm really hoping are low sin. Um, I'll have to see if they're on the app. We'll see. <laughs> Garlic Kiev, I suspect these are gonna be about 10 sins each. They do not look like the picture. The picture looks fat, they look flat. <laughs> but uh, who does not love Garlic Kiev? So very much looking forward to sampling that one. I got the shawarma kebab pieces because they're really nice and they were reduced. I think they're something like one and a half cents to the pack or something, something low. And then I just got some bacon pieces. These are sim free and um, they're quite, uh, good to flavour stuff with. So yes, this is today's haul. Quite pleased with this one. It's now 10 to three and I still haven't even started making my food, but I did just work out all the sins in this stuff because I didn't want to put it away until I worked out the sins. So um, I had to use the sins estimator for the garlic Kiev, the roast pieces and the mac and cheese bites. Um, so firstly, the cocktail sausages, half a sin each, plant burgers, one sin each. Uh, the roast pieces are four sins for half of the pack. This is six sins for half of the pack. This is six and a half per Kiev. Uh, one and a half for the whole pack and free, like I said before. Right, this is the pasta from the other day that's been in the fridge, so it's nice and dry. Uh, I'm using this much cucumber, nearly half a cucumber, uh, some tomatoes, uh, radishes, uh, so obviously all that speed. Um, I'm gonna put some sweet corn in and I'm gonna have half the pack of the roast chicken pieces. Right, I've just made a super quick dressing of two teaspoons of vegan mayo, which is three and a half sins, one teaspoon of this um, Gordon's mustard and dill sauce, which is one sin. Mix them together, friggin' awesome. I'm gonna put that on there, mix it all up together and go eat, I'm hungry. <laughs> there we go, a little salt, a little garlic pepper on top, good to go. I'm gonna go eat. I'm also gonna try two <laughs> of these vegan cocktail sausages, which look slightly dubious, but they're half a sin each. Hang on. Okay. Um, they taste good. They're quite dry. That'd be fine. So that's how many loads of sins that is. I have to say that was absolutely lush, that pasta salad for them. Um, really, really tasty. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy now. Um, I'm gonna have a coffee because I'm flagging slightly. And when I say slightly, I mean quite a lot. Um, and then I'm hoping that's gonna sort of fulfill my little sweet craving that's going on right now. Um, Cause I don't really want to have anything too sweet because I just, added it all up. Um, that lunch was nine and a half sins if you include the um, little cocktail sausages and that is just, for me that, that was too much to use on one meal, like that is annoying. <laughs> um, but uh, I mean it's fine, that's what sins are there for to be used, but yeah that was a little bit high in sin really, um, all things considered. <laughs> so um, I would have used, oh my god, this is why I'm gonna make a coffee. I would have used um, the Alpro plain no sugars yogurt instead of mayonnaise, but uh, I did have some left, but it did not smell good. It had gone bad, so I'm getting rid of that in a minute. Um, yes, so I'm gonna make a coffee now. Um, I put in my flat white this morning. It was with soy milk, and um, the only thing I could find that vaguely related was a pret a manger um, soya flat white. So I put that in and it came out three and a half sins, which, Seems just crazy high, but whatever. I'd rather overestimate than underestimate. So, if I want to have some 
chocolate tonight, basically. I'm gonna need to make sure that my dinner is free or low, low, low sin. So, don't know what I'm gonna have yet. And don't really need to worry about it right now. I'm only gonna make a coffee. <laughs> Hello, so I decided that, um, I'm just gonna sit on my sofa. I love my sofa, it's so, well, it's quite new. Um, hi, dolls. <laughs> And I was thinking I really do want a bit of chocolate. So what I'm gonna have is a rice cake. This is one of the callow rice cakes and it's two and a half sins. So that's doable. And then I'm having a coffee as well, which is one sin for the 100 mils of Alpro Almond Barista. Delts, are you lacking in attention? Silence. <laughs> what are you chatting about, Bubba? Are you having a little chit chat all to yourself? Because you can hear mummy talking. Can you? Can you hear mummy talking? Why do you be quiet as soon as I start talking to you? You have to perform for the camera. <laughs> I know. You're going to whistle. You're going to whistle? Nope. Nothing. Okay, guys. Bye. Just thought I'd show you. Oh. There we go. She, um... She climbs out of her cage because obviously she can't fly and uh, she likes to sit on her little branch outside the cage sometimes. Don't you Delta? Yes. And this is why I have her cage door open. So she says, hello. So she's got the option to move around whenever she wants to. See, that's how she moves. <laughs> Good girl. You little sausage, aren't you? Yay, little bean sprout. There you go, see? That's how a budgie who can't fly moves about. <laughs> if you're new to my channel and haven't met her before, this is Delta, my little rescue budgie who can't fly. <laughs> I know! You're having a right little moment, aren't you? You are. You all right? Delts. Good girl. There we go. She's having a little moment of madness. She's just like throwing herself all around her cage. Uh, doesn't know quite what to do with herself, I don't think. <laughs> That's it, have some millet. Millet makes everything better. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl. Hey guys, it's now 10 past seven and I'm starting to think uh, might want to eat dinner in like an hour or something. So I thought I need to start thinking about what I'm going to make. Uh, this is a danger I tend to get into sometimes. I'm just like, I'm so hungry, I need to eat now. And I don't put any thought into my food. So um, I'm starting now and then by the time it's ready, I'll be ready for it. Planning ahead. So um, I wanted to use up my Slimming World chips because they're just taking up room in my freezer. So I have put my chips on a baking tray and sprayed them with Fry Light. So a single layer so that's good um i've got the oven heating up now as well and i was thinking what i might do no i haven't put my shopping away yet i hit my wall so i had to have a sit down then i accidentally dozed for half an hour and then i've just been sort of trying to get my thoughts together ever since so um i saw on the app a recipe for aubergine steaks that involved making a little um marinade -y thing so i thought i would try that so i'm going to use an aubergine to do that and I think I'll do some chickpeas in the air fryer uh, to go with it because there's no protein in this meal. And then I don't really know what else. I might put in a pepper for some color because you know that's, that's always a nice thing, but I might not. So don't be surprised. Oh no, I'll do a green vegetable. That's what I, I remember now. I've had this conversation in my head with myself just now. So I'll, I'll probably do some tender stem. Or maybe asparagus, when does that go? Right, maybe asparagus then. Oh, lush. Okay, there was a bit of an incident when I was cutting my aubergine, so I ended up having to do one uh, steak type piece. I, I yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's move on. So then we had to make a marinade. So it's three tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of tomato puree, uh, two teaspoons fresh thyme or one teaspoon dried. I'm using herb de Provence because I don't want any thyme on its own. 
and then it calls for a taste a, a teaspoon of either onion or garlic granules i like both so i'm going to do half a teaspoon of each <laughs> seriously what kind of a world do we live in where you have to choose between onion and garlic honestly finally it's one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar then you mix all this together and then um it says just to brush it over the aubergine and let it sit for half an hour. I'm not going to do that. I haven't got time in my life for marinating. But also I scored it, which they didn't suggest. Thank you. You're welcome. So um, yeah, always score things like this because it just works loads better. I'm just mixing it with my brush because I was not expecting it to come out this thick. Fair play. Yum. It actually smells really nice. I was just thinking, oh, there's no salt in it. And then I've realized that there's loads of soy sauce. So actually, yeah, there is. <laughs> okay, so once it's well combined, good. And then we just brush on. Okay, I was just trying to um, brush it on and I was thinking, oh my God, there's so much of it. But then I realized that the actual thing says brush two teaspoons of it over the um, aubergine, so. Actually, that does work out a bit better, but it's very thick. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Now, they said do it in a frying pan, but sod that, I'm gonna do this in the oven. I will just say that I don't always do this, but if you have two minutes, the chickpeas will crisp up so much better if you just dry them as much as you can. It really does make a difference. Um, so, yeah, just I just get some kitchen roll. You can use a clean tea towel if you want. You know, you do you. Um, and then, see look, so much moisture. Look at it all underneath, see? So, yeah, this just makes, helps them get a little bit crispier. Chickpeas, air fryer, after you dried them off, chuck them in, chuck some harissa on, give it a shake, a good shake, another layer of harissa, smaller shake. This is a result, stick them in. Good to go. You can do this in the oven too, if you want. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes. I've just sprayed a pan with some fry light and I'm using half a pack of the 10 to 10 broccoli. So it's like four spears. I feel like I would use the lot, but um, I feel like that'd be enough. And then I've got the whole pack of asparagus. Um, I mean, it's the 26th today and it goes off on the 27th anyway, and the ends were looking a little ropey. It's no excuse. I would always eat a whole packet of asparagus. I'm sorry, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> right, my chickpeas have just finished and looking at my stuff in the oven, it's pretty much done. I haven't had a healthy bee choice today, so I'm gonna have a tablespoon each of pumpkin and sunflower seeds, and I just want those lightly toasted, so I'm just gonna chuck them in there and then get them a little toasty because they are yummy when they're like that. So I feel like that'll be a nice, healthy way to use my healthy extra bee. And this is why whenever I don't have one, I'm always like, oh, I missed out because I could have had some seeds. Um, seeds are quite an important part of the vegan diet and I definitely, definitely don't eat enough of them now that I'm on Slimming World. But don't worry, I will in the future. I just, yeah, I'm, I was used to. It's just right now I'm focusing on um, using my sins on treats to stop myself going off plan. So. I guess it's okay. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I am pretty pleased with how this looks. Doesn't that look cool? Um, so yeah, the actual meal is sin free. The only thing with sins is the ketchup and that is one and a half sins per tablespoon and I've got two on there. Uh, this is the Leon ketchup. It's really, really good if you can get some in your Sainsbury's. Um, but yeah, obviously we've got the, the crispy chickpeas, we've got toasted seeds, we've got the aubergine steaks in that sauce stuff, asparagus and tender stem and chips. So. Pretty good Saturday night meal. Hey guys, so it's now later in the evening. <laughs> um, I'm just having a cup of pucker nighttime tea and I'm also having one of my Moseroth sea salt bars for six and a half sins. So that will put me on 23 and a half sins for the day. So that's one and a half sins under my sin allowance. And uh, yeah. Pretty standard day, happy days. Hope you enjoyed, all oh, right, Giles, good girl. Hope you enjoyed the walk on the canal earlier. It is lovely, it's one of my favorite places to go. 
there's some really nice sort of circular oops, circular walks that you can do um, of varying lengths as well. So uh, at the moment, I'm really not moving very much. Um, there's two reasons for that. One is that I'm hideously unfit. I lost all my fitness when I was ill and recovering and uh, haven't really sort of started getting it back because of the second reason, which is when I put on so much weight, um, I, not only is it really hard, but uh, I don't particularly want to be seen out in public, which is partially why I'm living a bit of a hermit lifestyle at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'm just happy that I'm beginning to address it now. Um, it's all to do with like mental health stuff after having COVID and that. All right, girls. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm improving, so, you know, don't worry. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I'm just on the road to getting back to a normal life. So yeah, so it was it was quite a big thing today, going for a walk, and there was loads of people about as well. Um, so that was a bit of a, a challenge, but I really enjoyed it. So I'm so glad that we went, it was lovely. But the wind was friggin' freezing. <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed today and I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I am still obviously replying to everyone's comments and everything. Um, there are getting quite a lot. So if ever I miss uh, replying to a comment from, from any of you, please don't be offended. It's not a personal thing. It would just be that I've missed one. Um, the notifications on YouTube Studio aren't the best. <laughs> um, sometimes I miss replies to comments. So um, yeah, I, I'm trying my best. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if, please don't be offended if I ever miss you. Okay, cool. See you tomorrow. Bye.